This is the revision video for Unit B3, Mitosis and Meiosis. Living things grow as they age, but where do the new cells come from that enable them to grow bigger? The answer is mitosis. This is the process that makes new cells in our body. Mitosis is a type of cell division where one body cell produces two genetically identical daughter cells which are also identical to the parent cell. By producing two daughter cells from one cell, this increases the total number of cells in a multicellular organism. Body cells divide by mitosis in order to replace worn out cells, repair damaged tissues and for growth. In the nucleus of most of your body cells, you have two sets of chromosomes, arranged as 23 matching pairs. These are described as being diploid cells. Before a cell divides, its genetic material has to be copied, so that each new cell has a complete set of genetic information. Therefore, each chromosome, which is made of one molecule of DNA, must be copied. This process is called DNA replication. DNA is a double-stranded molecule. The first stage in DNA replication is for the DNA molecule to unzip, forming two strands. This exposes the bases on each strand of DNA and allows new bases to line up against each strand. These bases align next to their complementary bases, forming base pairs. Once this process is complete, the two strands will have become two complete DNA molecules. One chromosome has now become two identical copies. So the process of mitosis results in two daughter cells that are exact copies of each other and the parent cell they originated from. But how do we get from one cell to two? Mitosis begins once the DNA in the nucleus of the cell has been replicated. As soon as the chromosomes have been replicated, spindles form within the cell that the doubled up chromosomes attach to. These doubled up chromosomes then line up along the centre of the cell. Each double chromosome is then pulled into two identical copies and one copy goes to each half or each pole of the cell. Once each half of the cell has a complete set of chromosomes, two new nuclei form containing those chromosomes and finally the cell splits into two forming two identical daughter cells. So to recap then, mitosis begins once each chromosome in the parent cell has made a copy of itself. The duplicated chromosomes line up across the centre of the cell. Then each double chromosome splits into two identical copies and each copy moves to opposite ends of the cell. Two new nuclei form, each with a full set of chromosomes, and the cell then divides in two. The two cells are genetically identical to each other and to the parent cell that they came from. Meiosis is another form of cell division. This is a special kind of cell division that results in the production of gametes or sex cells. This is the way that egg cells and sperm cells are made. The reason this process has to be different is because sex cells are haploid cells, meaning they only contain one set of chromosomes rather than pairs. Meiosis takes place in the testes to produce sperm cells and the ovaries to produce egg cells. The cells produced by meiosis are different to each other and to the parent cells that they came from. Just like mitosis, meiosis involves several stages. Like before with mitosis, copies of the genetic information are made so that each chromosome is doubled up. During meiosis, there are two cell divisions. During the first division, the chromosomes line up along the centre of the cell and one member from each pair of chromosomes moves to opposite poles of the cell. The cell then immediately divides in two. As soon as this first division has taken place, immediately the doubled up chromosomes split and go to opposite poles of the two new cells. The cell then divides again, resulting in four haploid cells, each having just one set of 23 chromosomes. These new cells are genetically different from each other and from the parent cell they originated from. So, to recap, meiosis involves two cell divisions. In the first, the matching chromosome pairs are split and one goes into each of two new cells. Now these two cells divide 
Again, this time the doubled up chromosomes split and go to opposite poles. The result is four cells, each with half the number of chromosomes, that are all genetically different to each other. Meiosis is important because it results in cells with half the number of chromosomes, so that when two gametes combine, i.e. when an egg is fertilised, the new cell has a complete set of chromosomes. Sexual reproduction gives rise to variety in organisms because the genetic information comes from two parents and each gamete produced has a slightly different combination of information, making us all unique.